Hello, welcome to Home Run PLC video lesson. Now this is the lesson one series and parallel circuit. In this lesson, we are going to understand three commands: LD, which is normally open; LD not, normally close; and out. You can note down in your notebook if you're watching it. These are the instructions which will be used to make series and parallel circuit. Now, if you know series, the series are the circuit in which we connect two inputs back to back, and in parallel we connect two outputs in parallel circuit. So I'll be showing you that what does it mean and how to make a logic. So let's proceed with the first lesson exercise. It says divide the circuit when your input O dot O is on, then hundred dot dot zero should be on. If the first input is on, output should be on. It's very simple. With one input, output should be on. So if you see this I/O box here, what do we need? If this is on, this should be on. Simple as that. If one input is on, one output should be on. Very simple. So let's see how we can do that. So this is my programming window, and if you want to make a new program, just delete the previous one. So press delete here. All right. Now we are in the new window. So we know that the address of this switch is 0.0, .0 and this is 100.0. So take an NO contact here because by pressing that we need to turn on the output. So take 0.0, .0 press enter. Right here, the comment you can change the comment if you want. Press OK. And then you have another symbol. So press escape. You don't want this symbol anymore. This is my first input. Now take a horizontal line, connect like that. Now this is the place where we connect the output. So output you can take it from here. New coil, press here, give the address 100.00, enter, output 0 is fine, press enter and press escape. That's it. This is my first input and the first output. If I turn on this one, this will be on. So to download this one, first you have to go to online from here, work online, press yes. And then you have to go to program, PLC, transfer to PLC. Shortcut is control T, you can do that as well. Okay, press this one, press OK, yes, yes, and OK again, and press yes again. This is to run the PLC in the run board, okay? Now look at the camera. Now this is the input and that's the output. If I turn on this input from here, my output is on because my logic says if input is on, this should energize the output. So this is energizing the output from the PLC and the output is coming here. So you can see the status of output here as well. This LED means my first output is on. And this over here, if you can see that, this says my first input is on. So this input and this output. Okay. If I turn it off, this is off. And my input status is off here as well. And output status is off here as well. So particularly, we'll be seeing this I.O. box only because we know that the PLC status is coming. That's why these outputs are on. All right. So again, with this input, my output is on. Okay. That was the first exercise. Very simple. Now let's proceed. Second exercise says devise a CD circuit such that when two inputs are on 0.0, .0 and 0 0.1 then only one output should be on 100.0. So we have to take two inputs in series. Now in this circuit I'm going to take these two input like this one and this one. Let's take these two inputs. If these two are on then should then only my output should be on. That's the condition. So here first go to offline then connect some contact in series with that. So I'll take this one and press it here and the address of my this input is 0 0.2 that was 1, 0, that was 1 and this is 2. I'll, I'll write 0 0.2, enter, enter, that's it and escape. Then go to online. So the shortcut was control T, I'm pressing control T, enter, yes, 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 okay and yes again. Now let's see. This is the status of 0.0. .0. If I press this one, so this is on. Oops, wait. I think the program <laughs> has not been downloaded yet. Hold on a second. Control T should download the program. Transfer. Wait, I should go to online. Yes, and Control T. Press OK. Yes. All right, now let's see that. So my first input is on. This is on, that's why my 0.00, .00 is on. This is not on yet. So if I press the switch from here, my output is on, okay? That is in series. If I turn off this contact, now when I press the switch, now it will not work. Because the condition was when these two are on, then only output should be on. That's what is happening right now. This is the two input CD circuit. You can make multiple series input by connecting more contacts here as well. Let's proceed. Devise a parallel input circuit such that when either of 0.0, .0 or 0 0.1 is on, then only output should be on. Now the next case is parallel. 
we need to have if any of this is on then only output should be on that's the parallel so in that case go to offline and take this here if you know electrical parallel circuit this is similar so we have to connect this line like this and vertical from here and connect like this that's it now go to online and then transfer this program into your PLC yes all right now let's see the difference all right now my input 0.0, .0 is on that's why the output is on so I can turn it off from here so this is actually being used to turn on the output very nicely now even if I press this one this will also turn on the output this is called parallel circuit you can press any of these to turn on the output now here we are using the indicator but you can also use the relay by which you can turn on your motor or an alarm or solenoid whatever you have this is an example of indicators only okay I hope that makes sense you can do turn on the other outputs by connecting relays so let's proceed the fourth example device a parallel output circuit such that when input 0.0, .0 is on then output 0, 0.100 and 100.1 .1 should be on now right now we name we made parallel input now we need parallel output with one input so just delete this one now we need an output in the parallel so it's similar here let's put a coil here write the address press enter and press enter this is automatically connected in parallel okay just go to online and control T to transfer this to PLC okay and yes that's it now have a look if I turn on this input I have two outputs on in this case I can have three as well if I connect third output in parallel so this is connecting outputs in parallel all right I hope this is very easy and it really makes sense let's proceed device a circuit when input 0.0, .0 is on output 100.0 is on and 100.1 is off so you have two condition one if this input is on then one output is on another is off when this input is off then vice versa should happen okay it means you have two states of the inputs let me tell you here what it says if my first input is on let me delete that if this is on this should be on that's perfectly fine but if this is off another output should be on so I'll take an NC contact of the same address okay now I'm going to take an output here I'm going to write 100.01 now I'm going to connect this line so this says when this is on this will be on and this will be open so this will be off if this is off this will be off this will be closed and this will be on that's vice versa okay that's what I'm how we want to achieve here control T and press OK yes yes and let's download this one OK and press yes again already we got it so right now this input is off so my output is on that's what it means now if I turn on this input now you can see the logic as well this is off so this is true NC is true when your input is off NO is false so if I turn on the switch now my NO is true so output 1 is on 0 is on and this is off so this is vice versa situation okay this was what being asked in the exercise so this was connecting NO and NC with the same address and connecting two outputs with different addresses all right so this was about basic exercise of series in parallel circuit in next video we'll see some interlocking and some latching and unlatching and some exercise all right if you have any question write me below this video thank you so much